Hello everyone, so I'd be presenting this work. This is the work we've done, me and my colleagues at Kimia Lab, University of Waterloo. So first off, let's take a look at the outline of the presentation. For the recent few years, deep learning models have been utilized extensively to solve various machine learning tasks. One of the underlying assumptions is that deep models, such as CNN, can create useful representation of data which can then be used to distinguish between different classes. This quality is in stark contrast with traditional approaches. Traditional approaches usually need engineered features extracted from data and then used in different learning schemes. Features extracted by deep networks has been shown to provide useful representation. However, deep learning models are data hungry and require a gigantic amount of label training data. It will be a really hassle, especially when it comes to pathology, since labeling and annotating of whole slide indexing images are a tedious process and would take considerable amount of time from pathologists. Hence, the label information uh, may be insufficient in real world applications due to high labeling costs. Transfer metric learning is able to mitigate this limitation in the domain of interest, uh, I mean target domain, by leveraging knowledge from other related domains, uh, I mean source domains. In other words, we can learn a good embedding in the source domain, which is somehow similar to the target domain, and then uh, do a task in the target domain, for example, a classification task. Regarding representation learning, uh, there are many questions with respect to the intermediate representation and the role in explaining the data. Simons network variants are exceptions where we explicitly perform metric learning. In these kinds of networks, a contrastive loss over the metric induced by the representation is used to train the network to distinguish between similar and dissimilar pairs of examples. The Siemens networks generally consist of two similar networks that accept two inputs from either the same or different classes. Uh, the pair is embedded by identical neural networks first, then the component-wise difference of the representation is passed into a comparison neural network. By doing so, the Siemens network learns to identify discrepancies between classes. It has been proven that when we simultaneously pulling similar patterns together and pushing dissimilar patterns apart, the sensitivity of traditional Siemens networks to calibration will lessen, so the triplet network emerged. As a related work, Medela employed triplet networks on the colorectal cancer slide as a source domain and utilized their model to extract features of the healthy and tumorous colon, breast, and lung slides as the target domain. For this purpose, they utilized a BGG-16 model as the backbone of their triplet network, while they replaced the last fully connected layer with a more compact version. They used labels provided by pathologists in the source domain to create triplets. Furthermore, due to the mismatch between the properties of the source and target domain, images were adjusted through rescaling. The gist of their work was a triplet network outperforms which is 16 solidly trained with the same source domain. As another related work, Gildenblood trained a Siemens network based on ResNet 50 architecture by acknowledging adjunct patches as similar and remote tiles as non-similar cases. They both trained and tested their model on the Camelion 16 datasets. The gist of their work was self-supervised similarity learning with Siamese outperforms uh, ResNet 50 with image net weights in tumorous times retrieval. Our work has been based upon the LTCGA dataset, which contains whole slide indexing images from 25 different anatomical slides and 32 different cancer subtypes. We have only used 40% randomly selected whole slide images from three most common organ slides, including prostate, gastrointestinal, and lung organs. Well, what we've done in this work is to use the special information for defining distant and neighbor tiles. In other words, for every window in a whole slide image, by gentle sliding the window, we can define our neighbor tile and by 
taking a far distance from these two tiles we can select our distant tile so then we can feed these triplets to the network as you can see the pathology slides are well distributed and it seems rational to use a special distance for this matter here you can see an example how can we generate our triplets an stomach had an carcinoma slide has been selected as an anchor so does the neighbor tile we have four choices for distant tiles Type number one is to extract the distant tile from the same whole slide image by taking far distance from these two uh, anchor and neighbor tiles. Type number two is to use different whole slide indexing image but from the same cancer subtype. For example, here is stomach adenocarcinoma whole slide indexing image has been chosen. The type number three is to use different subtypes for doing so. So for instance, here we have used colonic adenocarcinoma and the last one is to utilize different cancer type from a different anatomical organ so for example here we have used lung adenocarcinoma another data set which we have used in our experiments is crc5k data set which contains 5000 patches extracted at 20x magnification and as i said before it contains nine different tissue types of colorectal slides we split it into 60% and 40% cuts. The 60% of the data have been used for training of our triplet network and 2000 patches have been put aside for the matter of target domain. Here you can see all the experiment at a glance. We have trained two models with CRC3K uh, patches. Uh, the first one is the training with patches and cross central loss and the second one is the training with triplets and using triplet loss. However, uh, as we described, the triplets of TCGA data were sampled using the spatial and tissue type information in an unsupervised manner. Uh, we didn't have any labels for the TCGA data set patches. As a result, we trained extra two models on triplet extracted from TCGA. The first one was trained on all three anatomical sites called D2S while the second model was only trained on the gastrointestinal slides from TCGA dataset called D3S as the DT was also related to the same anatomical sites. The network properties of our experiments are as follows. We have used present 18 backbone as our triplet network. Uh, the margin value for triplet loss was set to 0.25 the number of triplets uh, in every training scenario was set to 22,528. Patches are 128 by 128 pixels extracted from whole slide indexing image at 20x magnification level. Um, SPM classifier with tenfold cross validation fine tuned by changing the kernel has been used for uh, our target domain classifier. We have used UMAP to visualize the 128 dimensional representation in 2D plane. The number of neighborhood parameter in UMAP was set to 40 for all 2D representation. As you can see, MT and adipose tiles representation were closely located to each other and far from other tissue texture in all models as we expected. Uh, we can see this difference with naked eye. Let's take a look at the accuracy of target domain classifier in the table. Uh, we can see accuracies for different portions of target domain data. As you can see, our unsupervised technique results uh, have comparable accuracy in comparison to supervised techniques in which we've used label information for the training of our models. The interesting point is we've got highest accuracy which is 95.95 percent .95 using the model which was trained on gastrointestinal subset of tcga uh, the results in the last table uh, may suggest that extensive training on a similar data set using weekly supervised and unsupervised methods can improve the performance of model and generalization of the solution uh, in this work, instead of diagnostic labels, we have only used special correlation anatomical information and slight level diagnosis.